Hey y'all, it's Anna, your Make My Move community guide. Angola, Indiana is so much more than a vacation spot. Sure, the lakes are pretty, but these locals are the ones making this place so beautiful. Stefan Whitaker was born and raised in Angola. He's a filmmaker who's worked on major motion pictures and is passionate about giving back to this community. My family's legacy has kept me connected to Angola. The Day family was the first black family to live in the town of Angola, which was really groundbreaking at that time. So yeah, this is Stalker Street. This is the street that I grew up on, my mom grew up on, my aunties and uncles, my brother grew up on. A lot of what has made me a storyteller and a filmmaker right now yeah. definitely comes from experiencing all that I experienced out here in Angola for sure. The mound is the heart of Angola, and it was so fun to walk it with someone who's seen it evolve. I love that you can grab a bite to eat, do a little shopping, and see a movie right in the center of the city. Brokaw is really cool because I, I like to see what they're doing. They're more community outreach than they've ever been. To be able to show my films and stuff at the Brokaw Theater, I think that'd be really cool. I've, I've thought about that moment for a long time. If you Spend enough time at the mound, you're definitely going to connect with somebody. Like that's where there's a lot of really awesome local shops in town. Some of those somebodies are Daniel and George. They own a beautiful old brick building right on the mound, and they've created the most warm and welcoming space. When I said, do you want to move to Indiana? His first reaction was, you mean on purpose? Um, <laughs> you know. Angola gave us the opportunity to grow at our own pace. When we moved here, our mortgage payment was less than our rent payment back in Chicago. Daniel and George were working corporate jobs in Chicago, commuting several hours a day. They were ready for a change, even if it meant taking a risk. They took that risk and followed it up by opening Golden Green Soap Company and Elemento. Elemento is a place of... It's a place of non-judgment. Right. There's tools where they can come in incense, crystals, books, herbs. Did you hear that list? You know I did a little shopping. <laughs> I'm gonna give you uh, another Dorite. It has the little shine, you see it? Yes. Daniel and George are so kind and open. You don't have to be anyone but yourself with them. I asked Daniel to pick out a bracelet for me and he chose one for courage, something I can always use more of. And be open. It's okay, to, it's okay to be a little vulnerable because you need to be a little open. By being open, you look at the big picture and then you understand. And that's why I'm proud to be an Angolan, you know what I mean? And that's the big picture. And that's what we found in Angola. People with open hearts who live close to open waters. We went to the lakes and from the city, bustle, fast, speed, here, calm, serene, happy. And I really like that. If you're a remote worker and you are big in the lake life, like you're, you're gonna love it here. There's, there's plenty of lakes to go to. And especially when you hear about Stephen County having 101 lakes, you're gonna wanna probably wanna find them all. <laughs> we connected with Jamie. She's from Angola and is the executive director of the Early Learning Center, one of the sweetest Montessori schools I've seen. She loves spending time on the lakes. Water is like a mediator. <laughs> you get out there and you just feel the stress of the world just kind of melt. So you have the people that live here and then the people that we call Lakers who come and frequent the area, bringing kind of two worlds together. What tied me originally to coming back was thinking about raising a family and where I wanted to raise a family. I always think about my childhood and that wonderful sense of nature and adventure. I really wanted that for my family. Yes, Angola is home to lots of lakes. It's a great place to visit, but it's also a great place to call home. I feel like it has given us the opportunity to be a better version of ourselves. Okay, one, two, three. Come to Angola. Okay, well, it's not gonna work. Okay, All right, okay. you go first. Why don't you okay. say come to Angola and then I'll just and say stay. And stay. Come visit us in Angola. And stay. Cause you know, that's, that's literally what we, what we did. did. <laughs>